All right, I'm going to talk to you here just very briefly about the subject of getting input um, via console.readkey. Um, you would use readline if you need to get multiple characters from the user. For instance, if you want them enter their name or a number that you know has more than one digit in it, something which you know has multiple characters, then you would um, want to um, use read or readline. But sometimes, for instance, if you're doing a quiz, you would just want to get input A, B, C, D, or 1, 2, 3, 4. They only want to enter one character, and they shouldn't have to press enter afterwards. So read key is the appropriate thing. Get one key of input from a person. Um, here's how you do it. It turns out that read key returns something called console key info. Okay. And so here's the input, and here's what they're going to enter console.readkey and um, so there's a call to get read key. It's not what you'd expect. It returns instead of just a simple character it returns an entire object. It turns out that inside this object there's a property which is the character that the user input. For instance input dot um, <coughs> key card is what we're really interested in seeing. So suppose we wanted to know if the user entered the letter A. We would say if input.keycar equals A, all right, then what we'd want to do is write line the user entered A. And what I'm going to do, and this is something you might want to do quite a bit in your program, remember that CW is the code snippet for right line. So you type CW, then you press tab, tab, and that gives you your right line automatically. And this is going to put a line between the read key statement and my output. So now I press Control F5 to run. I'm going to enter the letter A, and then you see it, the user entered an A we correctly detected that the user entered an A. I'm going to run the program again. This time I'm going to press Control F5. And this time I'll enter a B. And you can see that the sentence the user entered an A did not um, work. So um, we can tell that he didn't enter an A. You know, one way to handle this situation would be to write, say, for instance, else CW the user entered some other letter. So maybe to make this even more sensible we could write something like well CW console dot write not write line in this case um, enter an A and then we'll just go ahead and run this. It says enter an A. I type A the user entered an A. Okay and then this time enter an A and I'll type B and it says the user entered some other letter. So now you're able to detect um, what the user picked. Um, <clears throat> if you want to detect whether they got something from the numpad, then you need to do something a little bit different than what we're doing here. Instead of um, looking for the key car, you look for the thing called key. And this thing doesn't return a car like that. Instead, it returns this, console key. And then there's a bunch of different letters. So for instance, numpad 1. Now we can check, did the user press the numpad 1? The user entered numpad 1. OK. And then the user entered some other key. So when you're going to read from the key rather than the key car, you're getting just what key they pressed rather than an A, B, C, D, something like that. The tricky thing about numpad is that it, you get the numpad when the numlock is on, and you get um, a right arrow or a left arrow when the um, numlock is off. So it depends whether your numlock is on or off. But let's go ahead and we're going to run this program. And it says, well, we should change our prompt here. So why don't we do that? We'll back out of here. 
and we'll please enter numpad1. And I'll go here and I'll press 1 on the numpad and you can see it said the user entered the numpad. Then I'll run this thing again and this time I'll press the 2 on the numpad. The user entered some other key. Okay. So I'll run it again. I'll press an A. The user pressed some other key. Press F5. I press a 1. The user, I pressed 1 on the numpad and the user entered numpad. Right. Let me just do one last one. I'm going to press a 1 on the numeric keys above the alphabet, you know, up right below F1. And it's not the same thing as the numpad. The numpad's the numpad, the thing on the right of your keyboard. Okay. So there you go. That um, gives you some a little bit of information about um, how to proceed with read key, um, getting back this console key info. I'm going to post this, and then if you have more questions, why don't you um, ask them in the uh, forums? But this should be enough information to get you to read to use read key, which I think is an essential part of working from the command line. All right, thanks.